Hello you guys, I am here just dropping in on your Tuesday afternoon because I have some exciting news. We have a new social media person who's going to be helping us with the community and doing all of the things that I've been trying to do and running out of time and really just another face for you guys and a resource for you guys. So I want to introduce you to Olivia Abood and Olivia, I'm going to do a short Q&A with her because I think video is always more fun than just a dry post, but we're going to do that too. So if you, first of all, if you guys see her in the group, be sure and say hello and introduce yourself. She's going to be helping me post and doing all of the things in the group to help build that our community and make it stronger. And then, so I want to do a Q&A with her. So Olivia, welcome. We're very excited to have you here. Um, so... I want to give the t everyone in the group a chance to get to know you. So I've got some questions for you. I won't time them. There's no rush on the answers. Um, so first of all, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, of course. Um, so first of all, I'm so excited to be here and to be a um, new part of this group. I originally grew up in a small town in Washington State called the Center and uh, moved to Seattle upon graduating high school. Um, however, once I got there, I realized the city wasn't big enough for me, so I moved to the biggest city in the U.S. you can find, New York, <laughs> to get my Bachelor's of Science in Business Management from the King's College. Um, while I was in New York, I definitely found a passion for entrepreneurship after working for a few small startups and specifically empowering women in entrepreneurship. I think that they're, you know, female business owners need to be empowered. And um, I just, I love the creativity that comes behind entrepreneurship and everything. So um, currently I am back in Washington state amidst uh, COVID. I was actually in England the first part of the year. So I'm kind of everywhere right now, crazy times. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit of my background. <laughs> Fantastic. And I love that, I, you know, this group and I, I, Kira and I have been both telling you this group is an amazing group of women and the support in the community is so important for all of us in this industry. So, um, it looks like somebody just made a comment too. So I'll have to take a look at that. I can't see comments right now, but, oh, yes, I can. Let's see here. Okay. Sorry. I'm just looking at the comments. Thanks for saying hi, Bianca. Um, so, okay. So we know you like women, entrepreneurship, and mm -hmm. community building. Why CBD? So for me, I can't think that's kind of twofold. Um, how I got introduced into CBD was first as a consumer. Um, I adore using CBD for to help with anxiety and stress relief and just overall mindfulness and well-being. I've had friends that have used it who have literally like gotten off of their anxiety meds from it and just like it has been so transformational in their lives as well as mine. And so once I kind of got introduced to it and saw the transformation personally, I knew that it was something that I wanted to get involved with professionally. Um, one thing that I love about it is I feel like there's something for everybody with CBD. So, you know, if you're not quite ready to take a capsule or, you know, smoke it, you can maybe use a um, skincare product or you can have a bubble bath with CBD or something. There is something for literally everybody. And I think that is just so exciting, especially being very passionate about entrepreneurship. I think that is just so incredible. Um, I also, a while back, remember reading a statistic that there are more female executives in the cannabis industry than there are in other industries. And I think that that is something that is just so powerful and something that I want to encourage and help in any way that I can and something that really um, should be pushed and pushed hard because it needs to be more women executives out there. So, um, yeah, I think it's just a great industry. <laughs> Definitely. I love it. And not to mention, I mean, I, I love the passion for helping. So helping heal, but also helping support women entrepreneurs and lighting that way. Um, so let's talk about social media. Why social media? We're here on Facebook. Facebook Live. Your very first Facebook Live. Welcome. And all of you women in the group who have been trying to get interviewed. <coughs> Bianca. Um, <laughs> calling people out by name now. Sorry. Um, you know, Olivia's here with her very first Facebook Live. So social media. Let's talk about that. Community building. So one thing that I love about social media is the 
many things that you can do with it. It can be a creative outlet for people. It can be a great tool for growing businesses. That's something that, you know, 50, 60 years ago, if you started a new business, it was so much harder to like get the word out there. But now you can go on and make an Instagram, make a Facebook, make a Twitter, do a Pinterest, and you can help that grow. So it's just so much more accessible for people everywhere, which I think that's really cool. And I also love the fact of how it brings people together. Um, especially during times like COVID where I think a lot of people feel very isolated and by themselves, especially if you are someone that's having to quarantine and stay by yourself right now, that is just so powerful getting to see that, you know, we're, we're all in this together, whatever that may be. And, um, that, you know, you're not alone you can have a community and you can have that community from anywhere. So I think that it is, it can just be such a powerful tool in that way. Absolutely. I I mean, obviously, I teach social media, I use it, I do it for clients, like, I, I absolutely agree. And I think that I think it's one of those things for me where it, you know, and it's, it's everything, right? It's this group, it's social media, it's our businesses. It's what we make of it, right? So if you put the investment in, you're going to get the investment out. Now, you obviously want to be doing it the right way. But um, there is, you know, it, it, it does take that give and take. Um, just instead of just blasting people with what we want to promote. Um, this is about you guys. It's your community. And Bianca, I see your post. Thank you. <laughs> I was glad you weren't mad about that. <laughs> I'm going to call you out. I definitely, I want, I want to see your face on here. Um, all right. So CBD, do you have any mm-hmm. favorite products? Oh my gosh. I have so many. <laughs> um, I think, so my top maybe three at the moment. I have been using the Balance 20 to 1 CBD with just a little bit of THC pen. Um, It's the one that I have is mango flavor, which is so yummy. And it is the best thing for just like relaxing in the evenings and just kind of taking your stress level down. Um, I usually, especially at night, I pair that with, I have this little um, CBD lavender essential oil blend. Mm -hmm. And you Mm kind of just like put it on different pulse points and it smells really good. And it is just the combination of those two specifically is just the best thing for relaxing night. I sleep like a baby, <laughs> which is great. Um, I as far I also love CBD skincare. I'm someone that loves skincare and makeup, and so I've been loving the Herbivore um, CBD and adaptogen oil. It just makes your skin glow. It soaks in so well, and um, I've heard it's like it's really good for anti-aging, tons of different skin concerns, and yeah, I have been loving that. There are a lot of women. There's quite a few women in this group that have skincare lines, so you're you're gonna get you're gonna see quite a few in here. It's awesome, and everyone has a different angle and a different approach um, with their brand, with their products, and so it's fun to see the differences and how you know even though they're like if by the name right, it says skincare, so it could be the same products, but it's not. They're not, and you know there's one for everybody. Um, what talk to me about community building what do you like best about working in a community I think for me the number one thing for working in a community is the relationships that can come out of it Um, I think specifically with women empowered in cannabis it's so amazing getting to see a community of women who are not only so supportive of one another but are also so passionate about the same thing Um, I think that it can just be such a powerful um, catalyst for you know, growing relationships and lifelong friends or business partners that, um, you know, you'll know forever and you can just learn so much from. So I think that that is something that has to be my favorite part is just like the relationships and getting to meet new people that you wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily get to, um, in other situation. Absolutely. And wait till we can do in-person events again, because the <laughs> women it just, it's one thing to see everyone online, which is fabulous. I love seeing you all. Um, but it's another to get that in person and the energy and the noise. And it's just so amazing to see everyone there. Um, you guys, Olivia is going to be in the group. She's already in. She's already has admin status. So she's official. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach out to both of us. If you want to learn more about Olivia, you can just hit her up in the group and ask her. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm going to put a post in there too, but I wanted to give her a chance to introduce herself and all of you a chance to actually get to know her through our crazy Zoom video live streaming world we're in right now. Um, 
Bianca, thanks for being here. There's a few others who are watching who I don't know who you are, but I can see that you're watching. <laughs> All right, you guys, great to see you. This is the last video you're going to see of me today. <laughs> um, check out the Talking with Trailer Blazers video from earlier. And Olivia, welcome. So excited you're here. And you guys, yeah, the other thing is, okay, before we go, let us know what you want to hear about, right? So in the spring, February, March timeframe, I reached, I put a poll in and to ask what topics you guys wanted to cover in the Talking with Trailblazers. Be sure and let us know if there's information you want to learn about, if there's, because we can find, there's so many women in this group and in the other groups that we can find people to talk about the different topics. So shoot us messages, we'll create a post, what topics you guys want to hear about, and we'll start working on that. Because now that there's help, we can have a cohesive plan. <laughs> All right, I'm done talking. Thank you guys. Welcome, Olivia. Thanks for being here. Talk to you guys later. See you in the group. Bye.